Why was Kutuzov removed? It was similar to Chapayev. Mm, no. Really, really huge. But considering your range, it is it is manageable. But in order to play Kutuzov, we need a captain with superintendent and IFHE that I don't really have at the moment and concealment expert as well. So no Moswan, no Kabarovsk. Mm. Well, I can use the Chappy one, but I would need superintendent, which means other three points and I'm running out of Elixir Minor XP already. Do I don't really have a Kudzu of Captain. This is very mind blowing for me. Why I don't have a Kudzu of Captain? Oh, there we go. This is a proper Kudzu of Captain. Concealment, IFHE, uh, Demo Expert, Superintendent, everything we need. Perfect. We found the proper Captain for the Kudzu of. Let's go for the Kudzu of. I didn't play this ship, I don't know since when. This is a Fact ton of time, literally a huge uh, amount of time. Uh, it's, it is not that difficult to play. Don't get me wrong. Just find your position in your spam HE. This is what this is what you do in a Kutuzov. Uh, do we need that Kutuzov trigger speed? Is not that great. Uh huh. Propulsion, of course. So let's go. But Kutuzov is a selfish, selfish ship. It is not team oriented. It is not a team oriented ship like Chapaye, for example. Chapaye is a very uh, team oriented ship. I mean, you can gun both in the open and get some damage out of your fires and that stuff. But you are more a, a team oriented ship because of the radar. And Chapaye has also better smoke firing penalty than Kutuzov. So if a DD smokes you up, you can get much more value out of out, out of that. Uh, while Kutuzov is basically you are spamming for yourself, you're dealing damage and that's it. Not that dealing damage is not good for to win, but you don't have any kind of good utility. You want to stay from at medium to long range, not me. Um, you can say that you want to stay at medium to long range uh, with Chapayev as well, but as I just said, with Chapayev you want to use your radar. In the Kutuzov you don't really need, you don't have to get close. Plus you have 19.1 kilometers of, uh, of range, let's say 19. And good shell travel time, you see, at 19 kilometers it is only 14, for 14 seconds. For a ship that has five, uh, 152, it is not bad. You have slightly Worse reload on the Kutuzov than the Chapayev. This is 8. Chapayev has 7.5, if, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, you can pretty much work around it. And 19.1 is absurdly long range. Yeah, it is. Concealment is 11.4. It is not as good as Chapayev one, but still. Once again, you want to stay at range and use your smokes and use the, use the island to farm. And this is your game. It is a pretty, pretty boring game, the Kutuzov one. Um, but yeah, Kutuzov used to have a, uh, also an, an advantage on Chapayev. Kutuzov was the only cruiser at tier 8 that was coated in 26 mm of armor instead of 25. Why? Because... Uh, Hundred and um, destroyers, basically destroyers, couldn't uh, penetrate Kutus of armor without having IFHE back then. I don't know if it's still there. This a tier piece without a camo. How stupid you have to be to not have a camo on a premium ship. Whatever. Um, um, yeah, this was the advantage of Kutuzov that not not being able to be penetrated by low caliber HE if they didn't have IFHE slotted. But now the whole armor and IFHE mm, changed, so I'm not anymore sure about the Kutuzov 
armor layout. I have to check this import once we go back to port. This Wismark is AFK and this one as well is without the camo. GG weekend players, weekend warriors. Always the best. More than tier 10 is the range, yeah. In fact, Kudosov was one of the few ships that in which you wanted to get um, up tier because getting up tier in a Kutuzov means more damage. Literally, it means just more damage because the uh, BBs have more HP and the HP pool is larger, larger. And since fire damage is what you do, and since fire damage is based on the um, on the base HP pool on, of the ship, the, the the biggest BBs you are facing the more fire damage you are dealing. So it is it was awesome to get up tier in Kutuzov because plus there were there were not so many radars in the game. So the risk of getting uh, radar was much less. It, do you see how easy it is to land shells even at m almost maximum range? With this, with this shell speed. This Ragnarok repaired a single fire previously. So we have to, uh, we want to make him pay the price. Come on, Ragnarok. Ah! He's too close. The nice thing is that the game is not telling me that I'm gonna uh, hit the island with the indicator, but this is Wargaming UI level. I'm not gonna use the smokes for, for now at least, if, if unless I'm really forced to. I want to save the smokes for when I will be targeted. We're gonna go at one quarter speed and farm this Ragnarok that seems to be focused on something else, like the Tirpitz, without the camo. Also, being stuck nose in, in a Ragnarok, which is basically an Amagi, it is a big, 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 big mistake. Because you're gonna you're using the 40% of your total firepower because Amagi has three turrets placed in the back and only two in the front. Nice, nice, these two shells. If I had the Kutuzov, I would love to fight a Grosse Kurfust. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the superstructure of the Kurfust are a very juicy target, of course. And the HP pool is huge. Yeah, I get. I guess why. Yeah, good job, Ragnarok. How about no? How about no? Can I get a permafire on this Ragnarok, please? AKA Warhammer and Magi. Oh, he's now advancing apparently. There we go, that's a perma. Are you enjoying your single fires being repaired? I hope you are. If I could get another perma fire, I would be really, really happy. This guy is a fucking potato. I mean, this is 100% sure. He hit me with one single shell, and that shell that was that he hit me on the on the ass, it was a citadel. Of course. Of oh, fucking course. You must be one of the biggest potatoes at this game to have this kind of RNG. But we are used to that stuff, don't we? Aren't we? This might be another citadel. Almost. Fucking die already.
We don't want to get stuck in our snow too much. We want to keep moving. Ideally, I would like to get vision of this Ragnarok, but of course, nobody is, is there to, sh to, to spot him. The enemy team has taken the lead. Oof, the TNC. He was literally full HP in like a couple of seconds ago. Let's see if we can hit the Ragnarok with some blind fire. So maybe he gets annoyed and he might even shoot us. Okay, Vladivostok. I'm supporting your, your move, but you need to give me vision of the Ragnarok. There, there she is. Hello, Kamala Stirpitz. Sorry, Bismarck. You're having fun here? Oh, he's moving forward. Why exactly? Kill that fucking guy, please. There we go. Now we're gonna go to, uh, switch to, to the Drake. Well, gaming doesn't really give a shit about IGN shift development. Uh, what do you mean, SD? In which sense? Ah, I'm gonna beach here like a potato. Can I avoid beaching? But where, why even bite we, if you can get a Maggie for free? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people bought that thing, apparently. Or maybe they are just all very um, very lucky that, and they got it from the, um, from the containers. I don't know. Who knows? Good radar, Baltimore. Good radar. Very useful. What the actual fuck are you expecting to achieve? Hello, Shorts. I love how this full HP Bismarck is, is telling us what to do while he's full HP and running away. Big idiot. Once again, report. What a potato. Come on. Don't make things even much more difficult, Shorts, please. There we go. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. So now the Drake, um, I think she used her super heal. GG, full HP, B is mark. With no camera. Chappie behind the island. What do we have left? Jean Bart, a Bismarck, Z39, and other interesting stuff. Drake is still inside the camp. Key is also a monkey copy just at the torps, and Key has also a slightly worse uh, dispersion. On a monkey, I find the dispersion to be not that great. I can't even imagine how is the key one. So now we are gonna be forced to do one thing that Kudo is not suited for, which is actually pushing, pushing targets. Especially other cruisers, we don't do well with that thing. We are literally shit at pushing. I'm trying to break the Drake guns. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean 
Well, he fired. That wasn't the smartest Drake ever. Okay, now we have to play with our 7.7 .7, uh, smoke firing penalty, which is huge, as I just said, for a light cruiser like Kutuzov that relies on smokes to be uh, somewhat effective. Double fire. That's a permanent Bismarck. Double perma. We are gonna go for the bow fire now. So maybe we can get a triple fire. Maybe not. But she's gonna die from these torpedoes, I think. Okay. If our team wasn't made of idiots like that Bismarck and the therapist that didn't have a, a, a camel, we might even have won that one, but of course we couldn't. We couldn't win this one, of course not. I can even do 200k damage, but the fact doesn't the fact that we are gonna lose this match is is, is not gonna change. Uh, 186k damage in a Kutuzov in a tier 9 matchmaking, but it doesn't count because when you have these potatoes in a Jambar that get 600 points in a, on, on, a, um, on a loss, it means that something was clearly missing. These are our tier, our uh, top tier BBs in the game. Let's see. This is the best one without the camel. GG. What you got detonated? No. Tear piece without the camel. <clears throat> Not bad. Ooh. Big claps for this guy. This is War Gaming best customer ever. Players wailing medium to high tier BBs. Premium paying the price 
without knowing everything at, uh, of the game. And then somebody is even asking me, what is the issue with people buying tier, high tier premiums? This is the issue. This is the issue. This is the issue. You have these potatoes in high tier matchmaking that don't know even that they can have the perma camo on their premium ship that they just bought. This is the issue. Anyway, I hope you uh, understood why Kuzov was removed. <laughs>